Leo County District Attorney today was talking about how he wants some people who are accused of violent crimes to remain locked up until their trials. But he says some judges around the state aren't exactly sure how to do that. So today, the state's highest court offered some clarity. I lost the, lot, um, the love of my life due to a fatal car crash. And ever since that day, I haven't been the same. Shauna, I love you, and I will never be the same without you and Shaylee. Family and friends remember Shauna Arredondo and Shaylee Bowling. Alexis Groves and Paul Garcia are accused of stealing a van and crashing it into the car the teen and mother were in, killing them both. Groves is being held without bond until trial. Prosecutors want judges to keep more suspects in jail without a bond, and you passed a constitutional amendment allowing judges to do just that. But prosecutors across the state say getting a judge to do it is different in every courtroom. Some judges say what's in a police report is enough to lock someone up until trial, while other judges want to hear from people who witnessed what happened. Today, the New Mexico Supreme Court clarifies, saying that judges can deny bail to dangerous people in our community and keep them behind bars. It's a decision the Bernalillo County District Attorney was hoping for. I personally think this is a big victory for us. I think it's a big victory for the people of New Mexico. The state Supreme Court said judges could make the decision just based on what's in a police report. They don't have to hear it from victims or witnesses of that alleged crime. If the Supreme Court was also asked to look at two other high-profile cases where people accused of violent crimes are being held without bond and their attorneys think they should be let out. Today, the Chief Justice said a district court now should be able to review those cases now that they've gotten a little bit of clarity on how that might work. Reporting here in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.